Welcome in YouTube to another episode of Remnant from the Ashes. Go ahead and hit the like button. Also, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that sub button. If you're not already subbed to the channel, I appreciate each and every one of you. We do stream live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash djbycal, Monday through Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern Time. And if you want to see or what know what game I'm going to be streaming, go ahead and check me out at twitter.com slash djbycal. I am a variety streamer, so I do play multiple games. So there might be a game that you're not really interested in, but there might be one that you are. So if you are, go ahead and follow me there. Also, hit me up. Ask me if there's a game I have or if there's a game you want to see, and I'll be more than happy to see if I can play it. <sighs> so I think that's all the self-promo. Uh, I don't know if I said drop a follow. Drop a follow on twitch.tv slash account too. Just, just covering all the bases. Um, so in between episodes, I did go ahead and change out one of my rings. This is the one that gives us a 5% chance to deal four times the crit damage. So we went from 30% to 17% because I was wearing the other ring. And I read... Um, the description of it, right? Disables weak spot damage, increases crit chance by 15, and crit damage by 25. So were we not doing weak weak spot damage? Which might be bad, because we have the exploiter, I think, trait, right? That, uh, yeah, that I had leveled up. Um, so the other thing we can do is, I think I'm going to try, like, one more episode of trying to kill him, uh, get rid of the dreamer slash, um, especially the nightmare, right? Because that's the ultimate goal. Um, if not, then we might do another adventure map. Um, for nothing else, just to try to get some trade points. Um, also, I looked up how many achievements I've gotten. I've gotten 30 out of 50. Uh, there's nine hidden ones. I believe those are all going to be attached to the DLC. We'll see if we get into the DLC. I might, I might not. I might put that off to the side for a, a while. Um, just because this has been a grind. This has been a grind. But it's been a fun grind. I want to make that perfectly clear. This game is rough, but doable. This is not like a Tarkov, right? Tarkov is punishing. And uh, this game can be punishing as well, but... You can also go back and do... It's kind of... So, if you ever watched Out, my Outriders playthrough, if you haven't, go check me out on YouTube. YouTube.com slash C slash DJ Cal. There is a playlist for Outriders. I did a Pyromancer run. Might go back to that uh, later this year and do a Devastator run, maybe, or a Trickster run. Um, but if you saw, at the beginning, I was struggling with the world tier. Similar to this, right? you got to level up your character to match... Um, to match the end guy. Looks like we're even right now. I would love to get more offense. <laughs> I don't know how, though, except for going around <clears throat> doing adventure modes and buffing up my executioner, kingslayer, and exploiter, right? As well as putting points into... Uh, quick hands, right? So that way I'm reloading a little bit faster. We'll see, we'll see. So let's hop into this. Yeah. It's been a minute in between episodes, so it might take me a second to get used to those. Little 
Hang on, I'm gonna heal. Click. Take a second, please. Take a second. There we go. This really doesn't do any damage.
take damage when you're in here. You want to be careful. Seven. Thank you. I'm gonna check to see if I have a pulse. I'm just going to let the credits play. I'm not sure if it has any hidden things in here, but, you know, we're just going to let it play. It'll be interesting to see if they come out with, like, a part two to this. I know this is actually, um, this actually is a part two, my understanding, to a game that was a VR game. I think it was called Remnant, I believe. So it'll be interesting to see if they come up with another episode of this. Maybe like a prequel to go more deep, deeply into the lore. Uh, the DLC is pretty good. It's a little weird. Um, the end boss, I don't know if they fixed it, but uh, is like 20 times more difficult than the Nightmare. So, I don't know if I want to put myself through that. Um, there's a few achievements I'm pretty close to getting as far as, like, the armor set. You have to, I think, get, like, 20 of those. Um, I have 5 or 10 right now. And, like, I can get 2 pretty easily. I just have to buy them, right? I have to get the cultist in the um, hunter gear. <clears throat> One more... If I get the right ROM adventure, you know, we can get the third piece of that armor. So, yeah. I mean, there's things we could do, like adventure mode, survival mode. There's a couple achievements for surviving. I think it's like one is to beat five bosses and the next one is to beat ten. Another one is to get 30 traits. Um, I'm at like 25, 26 now, I think. So we're pretty close to that. 
Um, you saw we got the Orb of Undoing. That will let us respec our character. I think it's going to reset everything to zero. I mean, down to one. Not zero, but one. And then we can... Uh, um, obviously, I'm going to put a 20 into World um, Traveler or whatever. The one that gives you the experience. That's first and foremost. Um, I think 12... 10 and 10 for the um, stamina things was pretty good. <clears throat> Exploiter? I don't know. Do we want to put anything in the Exploiter? Maybe a little bit. But mostly, now that we have chance for critical damage, we want to probably put it into like chance for the crit and then crit damage. <clears throat> I wonder if switching rings helped. Probably. Because I think we were getting a lot more weak point damage towards the end. You saw mostly red as opposed to gold. I think gold slash yellow would be crit and then red was weak point. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Leave a, leave a comment below if you if you know differently. So. Wow. I never on it. Uh, like I said earlier, I didn't honestly think I was going to be able to finish this game. Even on normal. This, this was on normal. If you want to try it on hard, go right ahead. There's also Nightmare and Apocalypse. And I know there's people that have done it on Apocalypse. I, I, I don't have... I don't have the patience anymore to do something like that. I did beat the Mass Effect series on its hardest. That's because I really loved Mass Effect. <clears throat> also, I guess it gets easier the more traits you've unlocked um and obviously you get to start with your starting gear i mean you get to start with your ending gear so it becomes a little bit easier right um i'm gonna keep it on normal for now <laughs> you can you can always re-roll it make it harder um wow I impress myself sometimes. <laughs> oh, man. That was crazy. That was crazy. It, it was a very good story. It's very well written, I think. Again, the world... Um, the graphics were pretty good. Were very good. Very good. I want to say very good. Pretty good can be considered derogatory. I don't want to be derogatory. It was very good. I liken it again a lot to Outriders. Obviously, Outriders came out after this. And I think um, the publishers were kind of the same. They were similar ones. I think. Let's go to the internet. <clears throat> after their credits are done. Uh, because I know Outriders was Square Enix. People can fly. I want to say Square Enix helped with this game. I could be wrong. I mean, if I was paying attention, it was in the credits, most likely. It might be coming up. Is there no sound? I'm fine with that. Um, so, wow. That was, that was a good game. Again, I would like to see them come out with another version of the game, like another, um, either like a prequel to like what we just did, maybe explaining why this uh, character needed, felt the need to come to Ward 17 to defeat the Dreamer. Um, I don't know. I think that would probably be the best way to do it, because at this point, I think you've kind of pretty much killed the root. Um, I know, what is it, Subject 29, 23, or whatever, 23, 29. Uh, the DLC kind of goes into it a little bit more, why the root's still there. Um, but it's mostly not the root that you fight. So, again, I think uh, if they were going to do another version of this game, like a another, another remnant... I would say it's probably Remnant Before the Ashes would probably be the name of the game. Focusing on the uh, protagonist from this game, right? Why does he feel the need 
to go to Ward 13 and Ward 17. Ah, <clears throat> uh, this was done with Epic. Okay. Speed Tree and the Unreal Engine. Says exit. I think it's done. I also want to buy the mods. Um, did we get anything? We didn't get any scrappy dappy doos. Um, but we have five thousand. Let's go ahead and buy. What we I'm have, what we can. Chad. What now? Fine, Great. let's have a look. Oh, the repulsor. What is this? Heck yeah, let's get that. World Breaker might be fun. I can buy two more. Keep moving. I can't buy anything Hello, from you. Ah, like anything let's new, see what I've right? got. Like they don't even say like, oh, you know what? You you done you done good, kid. <clears throat> um, buy items, armor. Crafting. Oh, okay. We don't have any glowing fragments. Be safe out there. You can get a lot of glowing fragments by playing on the harder difficulties. I don't know if you can get any on here. Maybe in like the survival mode. I think there there was a way to farm them. <clears throat> so let's see. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Repulsor. What's the mod on that, by the way? Banish. Fires a projectile that banishes the enemy into another dimension for four seconds. When they return, they'll take one point, uh, like one and a quarter damage from the repulsor primary fire for eight seconds. Powerful enemy. Enemies won't be banished, but will take increased damage from the repulsor. Not removable as far as the mod, which makes sense, right? Um... What does it take to upgrade it? Uh, Is it upgradable? I forgot to look. Certainly. Oh, iron, really? Um. Actually, no. The world flail wasn't a boss weapon, so. You gotta upgrade a boss weapon to level 5 was one of the achievements. Go back. Yeah, upgrade a boss weapon to level 5. That's the only one. You don't have to upgrade it past that. Be safe out there. So let's go grab some iron and some forged iron. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough. We can sell, like, adrenaline if we have any. Ammo boxes, we have six. We can sell, like, five. Sell, like, bandages. Greetings, friend. Here you go. Sell items. Definitely don't want to do... Oh, I got to use that first. Uh, let's do that and... Eat bandages. Sell... Keep your head 
Let's go ahead and use the orb of undoing. Are you sure you want to use this? Let's just make sure I'm reading it right. That's all trade points. Yes. Cool. So we have 133 trade points and oh, everything's at zero. Oh. Cool. So elder knowledge, we're going to definitely put 20 points into that. So we max out our um, XP. That leaves 113 available. Mind's eye, range damage. This would be maybe good with all the gun that we're using. <clears throat> I feel like I need to put like 10 into vigor. We're going to put at least 10 into stamina. Uh, World Walker. 10. Recovery. 10. Um, we're going to put into reload so we have 68 so technically we could still max out three that we haven't touched uh, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go I was scavenger. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Oh, I wanted these two. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. It's not fine. I think I can buy another orb of undoing. Hold on, let's see. Sir, do you sell an orb of undoing? Probably not. Only the best. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we Take can care, we can friend. do it again. We just need 2,500 scrap. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Um. Okay, crit damage. I gotta... Ten. Crit damage. I'm gonna max out. I just wanna, like, crit everything. <laughs> Exploiter. Let's put 10 into Exploiter. What do we have up here? We have 10, 10. Climber, I don't care about. Tormentor. Can. Armor Piercer. Did we really fight anything with armor? I guess there's a couple things with armor, but I don't think. <clears throat> Healing effectiveness might be good. Maybe not. Trigger happy. Lotten armor piercer. Spirit. Let's put five into spirit. Um. I hadn't done that. Uh, let's see. Elder Knowledge is maxed out. That's kind of like the big one. Vigor. And Endurance. Maybe put five more into each of those. Um... Let's put two more into those. Yeah. Yeah. 
and then exporter. Let's just put the last two into there. So that way we're doing some. We should be able to do some serious damage. Hopefully, if I had two more points, if I hadn't wasted those two on Keeper's Blessing, probably would have put it one more into each of those. Uh, but we can still farm for trait points. Uh, let's go ahead and minimize that. So we've been at 30 minutes. Before we go jumping into anything else, I'm going to call the video here. We'll come back and we'll, we'll talk to Ace about upgrading stuff um, and go from there. So if you like the video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're new to the channel, you want to help us grow. You can do it for free by smashing that subscribe button. Stay awesome. Stay safe. We will talk again later. Bye-bye.